Um, it's just Tuesdays. It's uh, those are those games are always fun and intense, and everybody wants to win, so it makes it for a good competition. Uh, how do you, when a game ends the way it did in San Jose, how do you kind of figure out a way as a team to kind of just flush it? Because it must have been a very disappointing this kind of moment when a couple seconds and then they score and the game's over, basically. Yeah, I mean it's it's obviously tough right when it happens, but after you get a time to take a breath and really think about it. Um, I think throughout the, the week was a good week. Um, there was times when we could have got scored on in the games that we won. And, uh, you know, it just so happened that it happened at the end of the, the game. And um, But there was a lot of good things over the course of the week and, and even in that game. So um, biggest thing was just, you know, wear it and, and feel that pain that you get. But then it's all about moving on to the next one. With the three games in eight days, did you kind of, how much fatigue were you guys feeling by the end of that? Yeah, I think every game, everybody, your fatigue is just part of the game, the soccer. And um, I think we're going <clears> to <throat> really try and learn from this. Um, a couple things that maybe we could have done to um, not only maybe tie, but to win the game. Um, but then it's just about learning. Maybe we could have done something different, to waste some more time. To get, or, uh, But it's tough because you're, you're at 0-0, zero, zero, you're getting some chances, you're getting um, you're getting at them at times and you think, all right, we're going to win this game. So it's hard to think that if we don't score here that maybe that they're going to score later. So um, we just, uh, you know, when we win, we can't get too high. And when we lose, we can't get too low. we got to stay steady and keep trying to improve every day. How much higher is the confidence on the road in these last few games as opposed to earlier in the year when you were dropping points? You obviously had the tie and you were seconds away from a, another tie this weekend. Um, I don't know. Um, I think we're just, I think as the season's gone on, I think we're getting in a bit better form, um, from just playing and training and, um, getting farther and farther away from the off season. So, um, I think as the season goes on home and away, we're going to get a little bit better. And, um, on the road, I think we're trying to get that, uh, really solid mentality that we're hard to play against. And, uh, we did it for about 90, 92 or so minutes, and um, but we can improve. We can do better, and um, but there's definitely some some good signs and some things that we can learn. As long as Philly's been in the league, they've kind of just seemed to have been kind of an average team, and this year there's been a pretty big uptick. What have you seen from them that's allowed them to make this big jump? Yeah, I haven't seen a ton, and I just I have seen them be at the top of the table on the Eastern Conference. So it is they're doing something right. Um, I'm not. I'm sure we'll, we'll watch a bunch of video this week of them and get a better sense of who they are. And um, but uh, they must be doing something right. And so it's going to be a really tough game this weekend, and one that uh, we'll be up for. And um, another three points on the line, but it'll be tough. Mike said last week that since he's been here, he's kind of noticed that, like the very last couple months of the season, is when this team kind of ramps up its sense of urgency because there's like a finish line coming. Uh, what is your opinion on that? Why do you think that's happened the last couple of years? Uh, I'm not sure. I think probably a lot of it is we play a lot more home games than we do in the beginning of the season. Um, I don't think all season until we maybe got one or two in a row. Um, I think when you can start to get a couple games at home, you start to add up some wins, you, your confidence gets up, then you go on the road. It's not you have confidence going on the road, um, and then you can get into this kind of get into a rhythm that's used to winning and you're you're starting to feel like you're going to win and um, it seems to happen in the second half of the season because possibly we have more home games in a way um, you can get on go on, get on a roll um, but something I guess we could check into but I, I mean I know this year first half of the season was heavy on the road and now we'll be home a bit more in the second half so I'm not sure if that's the same as last year or what but um, so hopefully we can take advantage of being at home a bit more. Western Conference table being as tight as it is, I think between like three and eight or nine or whatever it is. Do you guys maybe have a sense that like that sense of urgency should come earlier to kind of give yourselves, put yourselves in a better position when the later parts of the season come along? Well, I, I don't really think it's a sense of urgency. I think uh, it's just winning games. I mean, it's not like we're because of, like if you have a sense of urgency, then you're going to win, and if you don't have it, you're not. That don't mean anything. It's uh, you just have to 
you have to win. You have to win, and um, it'll probably come out into the last game again this year. I mean, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, we're used to it. And uh, she's got to keep plugging away, keep trying to improve, and um, try and win the next game. And if we win that game, we got to try and win the next one. There's no stopping. There's no um, okay, guys, let's play hard today. And then we go into the next one and say, let's don't play hard. You're always trying to play hard and you're always trying to win. And uh, so is the other team. And that's what makes it tough. And that's what makes it a sport. So we're going to try and win the next game and, and then get ready for the one after that.